why don't, Dr. Moore, living family members step up and say, yes, I mean, we have two kidneys. Yeah. You can function on one. Jen's right. doing fine on one. She'll tell her own story. Right. Well, it's, it's somewhat difficult. It's very complex when you look at different families that come forward to meet with us. Sometimes patient comes alone. They have no family backup. There's no one in the family. Uh, occasionally, patient may have family members. They don't have good relationship. Many times there's good relationship, but there's medical illness among the donors. Mm -hmm. But more common is a fear, fear to come forward to undergo an operation they don't need. Uh, and they're afraid of not just the surgical procedure, but, but also what would happen to their life immediately during that process where they would mm -hmm. lose some time from work or during recovery. So I think there are many issues that prevent people from actually coming forward. Uh, I always feel that many of the patients who actually come forward, step forward, are people who are really truly uh, special people in our life. They are altruistic in nature in general. Uh, they step forward without hesitation. Mm. And the rest of the people require information about living donation. They need to be educated about the safety of the procedure, the recovery that takes place, the team that's put behind this procedure for the living donors. So it's, um, it's sort of a mixed bag of people who come forward to uh, donate.